In this video, we are going to demonstrate how Denodo Data Catalog Capabilities serves as a launchpad for data exploration and self-service activities for data scientists. For this demonstration, we have installed the Denodo platform in the Amazon EC2 instance, and we have already modeled the views using data sources such as Amazon Redshift, Aurora RDS, MongoDB, and Amazon S3. Since most of the organizations are dealing with hybrid cloud, the data catalog makes it easier to establish a lineage of data and also from a multi-cloud perspective, it is easier to identify and search data across different clouds that are visible through the catalog. With this information, they can generate new knowledge and pave the way to make better decisions. First, we will see how we can log into the data catalog. Then, we will discover various intriguing features such as synchronizing elements of the virtual data port with the data catalog, deploying queries to Denodo server, searching of metadata, exporting query results to formats like CSV, etc., using categories and tags to make search easier, and finally, See how we can use BI applications like Tableau to view the queried results. Now, what you are looking at is the Denodo Data Catalog login page, which is a web-based tool, so it is immediately available to end users through any browser. Data Catalog can be accessed using the URL, which uses the port number 9090 by default, and users can log into Data Catalog using their virtual data port credentials. For now, we are using the default credentials that is username is admin and password is admin to log in. In general, before the business analysts start exploring this tool, Data Catalog Administrator needs to synchronize the metadata information with the virtual data port server. As we have already done as part of this demo, we will show you how this can be done. To synchronize, click on the Administration tab and choose the Synchronize with VDP Server option. This will highlight the changes made to the Denodo server from the last synchronization. Once the synchronization of elements is successful, Business analysts can leverage the search box to look for the elements based on the metadata as well as the actual data. The search box allows you to search metadata of elements such as categories, tags, databases, views, and web services. For example, let us imagine a business analyst wants to get the details of all the views and fields which consist of the term customer. Then, the user can search based on the entity called customer. This will yield results based on the search keyword. In this case, this will look for all the views and fields that contain the search keyword. Alternatively, business analysts can also browse and find the elements which they are looking for. Now, getting back to the search results window, Based on the search keyword, which is customer, Data Catalog is able to pull the results related to the keyword. As a business analyst, once they search and find the needed entity, they can deep dive into it by understanding what this entity is all about. To begin, let us open a entity, customer with sentiment, and check the tabs available. First, in the summary tab, the schema of the entity will be displayed. This makes it easier for the users to know the fields used in the entity along with their descriptions. Moving on, the Query tab allows the end users to query the views just by using a simple drag and drop feature. The users can select the fields and apply the filter conditions graphically without writing a single line of code and execute it to see the results. Also, 
After executing the query, if the user needs to export the results to formats such as CSV, HTML, Excel, and Tableau TDE files, they can do so by using the export option. As the users execute various queries in the data catalog, there is an option to save the executed query for future requirement. By saving the query, business analysts can execute the similar logic when required. Using the data catalog, it is also possible to deploy the saved queries as views in the virtual data port server based on the server URI configured while deploying it. The purpose of the feature Deploy Queries is to foster a collaborative environment in which business analysts suggest the views they would like to have available in the production environment. They can create the views themselves instead of asking the IT department to create them. The Relationships tab shows a graph with the views of the server and their associations. Defining relationships helps business analysts with little to no knowledge of SQL to run queries across multiple views by leveraging the interactive querying interface. This also helps users in data exploration activities. The Lineage tab displays a graph of the data sources and views used to build the current view. This tree view representation of the Denodo view helps business analysts to validate where the data originally resides and what type of transformations it goes through inside the Denodo data virtualization layer, if any. Hence, it is best to have all your enterprise-wide data sources plugged into Denodo in order to make it easy for data exploration through the Denodo data catalog. The data catalog allows showing usage statistics of the views by analyzing the usage data collected by Denodo Virtual Data Port. The generated statistics help users check the most frequently used query, average results, etc., which help users perform a better data analytics on the Virtual Data Port elements. Now, let's see how we can perform searches based on the content of the views. The content-based search is achieved by indexing the views of the server. This is because the searches are performed only on that index engine and not by querying the views in real time. In the data catalog, we can create categories to organize a set of views into one particular category for ease of discovery and use. As the name suggests, this section refers to a categorical folder structure that can be defined by different departments. Further, these folders can have subfolders to store views in such a way that it brings more sense to the business analysts. These categories play an important role when it comes to having one view used by multiple departments. This helps in repurposing views and avoiding redundancies. Similar to categories, we can create tags in the Denodo catalog, like how you use tags to search and find posts or tweets on social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram. Likewise, you can identify the views that are associated with a particular characteristic and could be shared across different departments. Tags could also be used to highlight views used in a particular project or specifically imported for a project. One view can have multiple tags which makes it easier to be found by business analysts or analysts when using the search feature. Last but not least, if there is a need for the business analyst to expose the Denodo views in a BI application like Tableau to create dashboards, then users can leverage the Tableau button available in the Summary tab of every entity. With this feature, 
Data Catalog will directly generate a TDS file which can be opened with the Tableau desktop application. By just opening this file, the connection will be established using Tableau's named connector for Denodo, provided if you have the Tableau desktop application installed and accessible by the appropriate users. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you got an insight on how a reporting tool and the virtual layer creates a very powerful combo to provide self-service capabilities as well as provide ample opportunities to the business analysts or data scientists who can perform data exploration in a graphical way.